Could you please introduce yourself and the course you teach? My name is Bill Metcalf. I'm in the Department of Microbiology, and I teach MCB 424, which is microbial biochemistry. Can you give a brief overview of what the course covers? Yeah, so microbial biochemistry um, is the more recent name for this course. So the course originally uh, used to have the title, the microbial, uh, sorry, the biochemical basis of microbial diversity. And we shortened this a number of years ago so that it would fit nicely into the course catalog. And what the course covers um, is the biochemistry and metabolism of microbes and how this allows them to adapt and survive um, in the world. So it involves a fair bit of biochemistry and metabolism, um, but it's all couched in terms of the living microorganism. You know, so it's not kind of memorize pathways and, and regurgitate those on a test but rather how do biochemical pathways and the metabolic abilities that microbes have allow them to thrive in the, in the world and in various environments. Um, and particularly the kind of environments that you don't learn about um, in other biochemistry classes which are largely human based. So anaerobic environments or thermophilic environments or high salt environments that microbes do quite well in um, but organisms such as ourselves um, do rather poorly in. And so you might imagine that that involves some novel um, physiological and metabolic capabilities. And that's largely what the course um, is attempting to convey. Okay. Um, what kind of background knowledge does a student need to take this course? Well, so based on the title of the course, Microbial Biochemistry, you wouldn't be surprised to know that it's very, very helpful to have already taken biochemistry for this course. Um, it, it's at not an absolute requirement, and I've had a number of students who've taken the course without having a previous biochemistry course, but it's certainly very, very helpful. Um, it would also be helpful to take MCB 300, um, which is Introductory Microbiology. Um, that's actually another course that I teach at, di at, uh, at different times in my uh, semester calendar. How do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, and scientific advancements? So, um, if, if you really want to understand how microbes live in the world, you really need to understand their physiology and their metabolism. Um, microbes aren't like larger organisms. Um, they don't hunt prey, they don't um, grow like plants and adapt to the environment. And yet microbes are really the foundation of the global environment. They really are the critical mediators of virtually all of the carbon cycle, the nitrogen cycle, the sulfur cycle. Um, they intimately associate with other organisms that they share the planet with, um, including human beings. And they contribute a great deal to our health in ways that's not really um, necessarily connected with disease. You know, for example, microbes are inhabitants of our gut system. And something like 15% of the calories you get every day comes from microbes digesting parts of your diet that human beings can't digest. And in order to understand how microbes do that, you certainly need to understand their metabolic and, and biochemical capabilities. Um, if you want to understand things like climate change and the carbon cycle, um, or the role of the sulfur cycle in promoting growth in terrestrial ecosystems, you really need to understand the critical role that microbes play in these processes. And if you're interested in things like development of biofuels, um, which again are largely microbially driven processes, where does bioethanol or biobutanol that are used for fuels come from? Um, it comes from microbes. And again, you need to understand how they do this um, in order to develop and, and take advantage of their abilities. Thank you. Um, what other classes in MCB go well with the content you are teaching? Well, so as I said, um, biochemistry certainly. Um, microbiology certainly and f even for those who are interested in the health fields I think it's very helpful to understand microbiology and so um, the medical microbiology classes um, physiology classes to a certain extent would would benefit from from having taken this course as well okay what should a student do if he or she is having trouble with your course well they should come talk to me um, that's that's my job and actually I, I try very hard to engage in students um, I have regular office hours for my course but in addition I'm willing to meet with students at any time um, should they be having trouble with the course
What is one thing a student going into your class should know about you? Um, you should know, I hope, that, it, that I enjoy teaching. Um, I, I really like teaching. It, it's one of the fun parts of my job. Um, you may have heard at certain points that you really never learn something until you teach it. And that certainly is, is true for me. Every time I teach this course, I get a new appreciation for some angle of the topic, which really helps me in, in conducting my own science and my own research. Um, so I guess point number one, I enjoy it. Um, and I hope I can convey that to my students. It's a fun topic. Thank you.